Oh god. Oh! 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 Okay, 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 oh, listen, that's... listen. Hey guys, Leaflet here, and today we're diving into Sworn, an up-and-coming co-op roguelike. And by the way, if you want to check out the game, you can use the link below to get in on the playtest. Developed by Windwalk Games and published by Team17, it's been compared to Hades, but I've never played Hades myself. So this is from a point of view from someone who hasn't. So let's see what makes Sworn stand out. I myself am a co-op enjoyer and Sworn offers co-op roguelike experiences, which is a rare gem in this genre. It also has support classes and support classes in roguelikes are difficult to execute well. The ability to heal can trivialize difficulty in a genre where every mistake should count. Sworn brings well-designed roguelike support with no heals, but instead offers meaningful shields that reduce a lot of damage at the cost of your single spell slot. So first off, the sense of danger is real in Sworn. It's got that classic roguelike feel where everything can turn to shit in a blank. Dying feels incredibly punishing, but is tuned for co-op. You become a wisp upon death, still able to assist your team with revival options that encourage teamwork. Plus the combat is fluid and the controls are responsive. The upgrades are great too. You make packs with the Fae to gain thematic powers like fire, ice, and poison, adding an easy to understand but impactful boost to your strategy. The game is currently in a closed playtest with a release date of 2024. So there are a few flaws that might be addressed as the game gets cleaned up. The game starts with only two of four classes unlocked. And I've always been a believer that co-op games should have more characters or class choices than the maximum amount of players, allowing everyone on the team to play something different that they like. In addition, the pregame player expression feels a bit restricted with only four weapons and four skills per character. There's also some co-op balance issues, particularly with crowd control abilities, it's tricky to use CC builds on bosses. Even fully invested, you still have trouble stunning the boss. This might be to mitigate entire teams running the same kind of CC, but I think it's far better to build CC faster and then have the boss create an immunity period because you want abilities to feel impactful without forcing teammates to go literally the same build as you. The game, however, was really fun and me and my squad had a really great time playing it. I'm really excited to see where the game goes after this. While there are some cons, remember that Sworn is still in development and issues like balance are often ironed out before release. So improvement is nearly guaranteed with the game. Me personally, I really enjoyed Sworn and I am going to pick this game up when it does come out. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more gaming insights and reviews. And come join us on Discord too if you're looking for a community of passionate gamers. And remember, you can check out the game yourself with the link in the description. Anyway, guys, peace out.